Directly behind me is the fastest ocean liner in the history of the world, the SS United States. On Friday of this week, it's going to depart for Florida, where it's going to be sunk off of the Gulf of Mexico to become the world's largest artificial reef. The ship was built in 1951, and it was heavily subsidized by the United States government so that it could potentially serve as a troop transport in the event of a Third World War. At the time it was built, ocean liners were the most cost-effective way to transit the Atlantic Ocean. Speed was the name of the game. You could tell by the thinness of the hull, it was meant to go very fast. In 1996, the SS United States arrived in its new home of Philadelphia, where it would stay for 28 years. On its maiden voyage in 1952, it was awarded the Blue Ribbon for the fastest ever transatlantic crossing, a record which holds to this day, three days, 10 hours, and 40 minutes. Its next journey, set to begin at the end of the week, will be its last. Destination, Florida, the bottom of the Gulf of Mexico, the world's largest artificial reef. While the ship will soon be gone to history, it will remain the world's fastest ocean liner at the bottom of the sea.